How are we going YouTubers? Been a while since I've made a video um, pretty much because I haven't really had anything worthwhile um, showing you guys. Uh, I've kept myself busy though been educating myself as far as what's going on in the world with the, um, the, the precious metals and the manipulation and so forth. Uh, I've looked at uh, hundreds of YouTube channels uh, on the subject of silver stacking, silver bullion and I'm just amazed at the amount of people that are out there now um, putting their opinions online for everybody to have a look at so um, that's that's kind of telling me that I'm, I'm, I'm on the right track as far as stacking my silver I've got a couple of guys up here that um, have um, inspired me lately um, top of the list is Irish164321 I got to know Irish um, over a period of time he actually was um, a winner of an impromptu competition that I had on my channel and I gave away a MS70 uh, 2000 and Eight Kookaburra coin, um, and uh, he was very grateful to get that. So um, I'll, I'll talk about Irish later on. But um, we, we've got a great rapport going on at the moment. Irish lives in the US. I'm in uh, Australia, obviously. So um, I enjoy um, hearing from somebody that's on the ground about what's happening in another country as far as economies and everything are going. But um, look, that's not the point of this video, guys. Um, Group and Fuhrer is somebody that inspired me as far as um, coin collections go and, and how you present your coins. Um, he's got a, an amazing collection of um, gold coins and silver coins as well guys So um, jump online and have a look at his channel. It's right there group and Führer zero. I think it is it's either zero or group and Führer O and uh, Underneath I checked this guy out the other day. Just a young bloke in the U in the UK He's um, got a nice little collection together. So we started chatting online and um, I had a few spare Canadian maple covers, airtight covers that I've um, I've sent over to him. So um, I look forward to seeing your video, mate. Um, today's been a good day today for me. I um, pretty much made my last purchase of the Kookaburra coin series that I've been um, putting together over the last eight months. It's pretty much taken me until now to to get this collection together. I, um, I'm not a wealthy man by any means. I have a family, so I, I have a reasonably strict budget on uh, what I have to work for, uh, work to, sorry. So, um, right -o. I'm going to put this little baby in my collection that I've put together, and I'm quite happy to show you guys it um, right now. Okay, uh, I'm very heavily biased at the moment on the Kookaburra coins. Simply because I live in Perth, and uh, the Perth Mint is um, well known for the products that it puts out. Let's have a quick scoot over here just to give you an indication of what I've got here, guys. Okay, 2011 coin that I just purchased slides right in there. And what that gives me is a Kookaburra coin collection starting from 2007. I'll zoom in a bit. Actually, I'll zoom out. Two thousand and seven Kookaburra. Liz on the back. The 2008 Kookaburra, which is a great coin. This is a, a, a really popular coin, I think, um, pretty much because of the detail that's involved. And what I like about the uh, the Perth Mint products is they have a um, a different coin comes out. This is actually legal tender. It's a bullion coin, but they're legal tender. But every year they have um, they have a different design. So uh, I, I'm not sure how that works. Whether it's um, the artist that's in house at the time, it's like. Uh, Thanks for coming, mate. Bugger off. Then they get another one to come in. This is a 2009 series. This is very popular. People all over the world who like the Perth Mint products rave about the 2009, and uh, I tend to agree. I, I like it. Um, probably one of my fi favourite coins. I got a great deal on these coins here. I had to buy nearly all of these coins on eBay because they were sold out from the Perth Mint, and I got a, such a good deal on the 2009 that I've got two trays with. There's 24 on a tray. And I've got, uh, I had a, a great bargain there. This 2008 coin, this is the MS, 
69. I spoke about these coins in an earlier video. Um, graded coins seem to be very popular in the uh, in the US. I'm um, I'm not that fussed about it. To me, it's just a bullion coin. Really, that's all it is. It's just a bullion coin. But some people seem to think they're the way. We've got the uh, 2010. Very shiny. I hope that light's uh, doing this quite a bit of justice. Hope you can focus, guys. And coming down to this year's coin, which is the 2011. And that's the baby that I just showed you. 24 of each. I got the idea of presenting coins like this from Group and Fuhrer. I watched a couple of his videos from uh, a while ago. I've put a bit of a, a prompt here. I've got some Kookaburra coins here that are from 1991 to 2001. 1991. Like I said, they have a different design every year. And I really just like the Kookaburra coins. And so do a lot of other people. Got a Canadian maple stuck in the mix here. All of these coins, guys, are put into airtight covers. The um, the coin, the cover that the Kookaburra actually comes in. I've got a 2008 over here, which I picked up off eBay. They rattle around. I mean, the, the coin itself is beautiful, but the cover they come in and uh, leaves a little bit to uh, to be desired. So I had to hunt around for a while to actually find something that I liked, and lo and behold, I found this company in the US called Airtights.com. Bit of a plug for them, but some um, their products are actually really, really good. Got the 2009 half ounce koalas. I had a bit of a lean time quite a few months ago, but I was still stacking and I was just buying the half ounces. Um, and as you can see, just a little bit by little bit, this collection's just growing. This is the 2000, I can't focus on, hang on. This is the 2010. Sorry guys. The half ounce koalas there. I guess they're all bullion now. They're not as pretty as the kookaburra, but some um, silver silver in my eyes. I've got a couple of uh, one tenth of an ounce kangaroos, gold kangaroos. I've uh, started buying fractional gold. I um, I firmly believe in the um, in the silver, but um, I do like to cover my bases, and I'm I'm starting to buy fractional gold. It's another kangaroo, just a different design. I can't see what year it is, guys. I, I, I'm pretty sure it's 2011. So, yep, yeah, like I said, I'll continue buying fractional gold. So, um, I've got some exposure. I've got seven of the two ounce 2009 coins. Kookaburras. These covers here are uh, another product from Airtight, so I've got the black band that uh, just um, presents the coins in a far better light than just the, the normal cover that they come in. I've got seven of them. I've got a really good deal with these coins here. I actually do have a 1 kilo 2009 Kookaburra. This is the, uh, the 10 ounce. And I managed to pick two of these up through a silver stacking forum, it's called Silver Stackers Forum, Australian based silver forum and I managed to do a swap with a guy on the forum, these two 10 ounce 2009 kookaburras and I swapped them for 20 1 ounce kookaburras which is um, a pretty good deal, he got a good deal, I got a good deal, we're both happy, this is the 2011 10 ounce kookaburra Lovely coin, nice, nice bit of silver there. This is a 93 2 ounce kookaburra. Again in the airtight cover. Rattles around a bit. Oh, actually, yeah, it does. I did find the covers were very good, but the bands were, were quite, uh, they had a lot of elasticity in them. And this particular coin itself rattles around slightly, but um, not to worry. Got the uh, 2011 